We welcome you into the final Chuck Benson show of the regular season. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier, alongside Carson Newman, head men's basketball coach Chuck Benson. Chuck, getting down to the nitty gritty, one final home game this Saturday against the Wingate Bulldogs, and you've already sewn up a first round home game in the SAC tournament. You come off of a heartbreaking loss to Catawba. Uh, you're out of the reach of a regular season conference title. How do you forget about that and play for uh, potentially a two seed, depending on how things shake out on Saturday? Well, it starts, it starts at the top. Um, the guys, the, the players have got to see that, that our staff is resilient. We're ready to move forward. Uh, we've already brought several guys in to talk about the loss of Catawba. And we're, we're, gonna, we're just going to buckle down and, and, and get ready starting today uh, for the next game. Um, uh, and I think if they see that, that we handle it a certain way, I think that'll give them the, uh, the confidence to know they can do the same. So I, I'm, I'm confident they'll follow our lead. Does it help a little bit that LMU beat Wingate? And I mean, that essentially made whatever happened with your games a moot point. You're, regardless of what happened, LMU's win make, makes it, you're probably a three or a four seed, maybe a two seed if you get lucky. Yeah, it makes, it makes the medicine a little bit sweeter. Uh, so, you know, it makes it easier. But, but uh, you know, every year you always look back and uh, you focus on, on games that, that sort of that, that haunt you. Coach Williams and I were talking about it today. You know, uh, the, the thrill of victory is so, is so short-lived, uh, but it's those losses that you just – you just you have a hard time shaking. So, uh, yeah, to, to know that LMU took care of their business and sort of secured that 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 that, that top spot, um, congratulations to them. But, but it made it made what happened to us last night easier to, to manage. You you break it down, and with two games out, though, you had a chance at a conference title. If the wrong combination of things had happened, though, you could be staring down a five seed with two games left. What's that like to be playing with that situation? that scenario, that situation, even in, into the final game, you could wind up two, you could end up four. We're just, one of the goals we had was to be able to host a first round tournament game. Uh, we've managed to accomplish that, so uh, that's a big plus. But, uh, you know, uh, one, game to, one game to go uh, in regular season, uh, I'm very proud of our team and, and, and the kind of season we've had to this point. Uh, but, but really, it's about finishing. Uh, and uh, the last two years, I didn't like the way we finished. Um, in both those years, uh, we, going down the stretch, we, we were three and five in the month of February, and then lost first round tournament games. Uh, this year, we, we, we are we're finishing stronger, hopefully, and then hopefully we can represent better in the conference tournament. So, though we, we've had a, a lot of things positive about this year, uh, all that's in the past, and we're living in the moment, just trying to see what we can do now. You live in the moment against a Wingate club that had a way to close out the season. Uh, Wingate, same boat that you're in, battling for a conference title and now uh, looking to the three or a four seed. It, it's Turner, it's Turman, it's Day, it's Patrick Matillus. I mean, how much talent? We've seen them before. How much talent does this Wingate club have? They're, 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 they're a tested team. Of course, they were the conference tournament champions last year. They made it to the semifinals of the region. Um, we were fortunate enough to win in our first uh, match this year down there. They'll come in here loaded for bear, um, and they'll take our best. I say that I say that, I say that all the time about whoever we're playing, but I know I know the limitations we have. And I know that anything less than our best, it, it probably won't be enough most nights. So uh, we've got to really put our game plan into into play, and the kids got to play with great intensity and effort. Brian Goods teams always bring it with the effort and and with the passion. So if if if, if we want to have a chance, we've got to execute and, and play with equal passion. Can you replicate what you did game plan wise against them the first time out, or do you have to switch it up now that you're at home? We ain't changing a thing. Uh, I, I, I made some choices last night in our Catawba game to make some adjustments, which backfired. Uh, I'll learn from that. We should have gone with the same game plan we did the first game, um, and we didn't. We will go with the same game plan against Wingate, based on what happened to Catawba. <laughs> and win, lose, or draw, we're going with the same, same deal. Chuck, pleasure as always. Good luck on Saturday. Thanks, Adam. It's Carson Newman, Headman's basketball coach, Chuck Benson. This has been the final Chuck Benson show <laughs> of the regular season. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier, and this is cneagles.com.